Okay, so we're supposed to reflect triangle ABC over the y-axis. Remember that to reflect over the y-axis, we keep the y points the same, right? So we go from x, y to negative x, y. We keep the y coordinates the same to go over the y axis. So if our first point A is at 4, 3, then A prime would be negative 4, 3. Yeah? And if B is 7, negative 1, then B prime would be negative 7, negative 1. And if C, C is 2, negative 2, then C prime would be negative 2, negative 2. So the y coordinate always stays the same. The x coordinate changes its sign, and the number stays the same. Cool? All right, let's take a look at B. Reflect the letter, x, letter F over the x axis. So now we're reflecting over the x axis. So the x coordinate is going to stay the same, and it's the y coordinate that's going to change. So if we had, say, the bottom point of our F letter here at negative 4, 1, then its new location would be the same x value, so still negative 4, but now the opposite sign on the y value, negative 1. Yeah? And if our top point up here was at negative 4, 1, 2, 3, then our bottom coordinate, or the corresponding one, would be at negative 4, negative 3 x-coordinate stays the same, y-coordinate changes because we're reflecting over the x-axis. Cool. And then finally, example C. Reflect the triangle ABC that has the vertices A, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right here. And B, 7, 1 right here. And C, 9, 6 over the line x equals 5. So that's this purple line right here. So if we're going to reflect it over the line, remember each point, now we're reflecting over an x, or I'm sorry, over a y line. So our y line, or y coordinates are going to stay the same, and our x coordinates are going to be the ones that change, right? So we're going to go from, with our a coordinate right here, which starts out at 4, or one point away from the line on the left, when it reflects, it's going to be one point away from the line on the right, but the y coordinate is going to stay the same. For c, c starts off with 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 points away from the line to the right, so its reflection is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 points away from the line to the left, and the y coordinate stays the same. The b point starts off 1, 2 coordinates to the right of the line, so its reflection is going to be 1, 2 coordinates to the left of the line, and the y coordinate stays the same. Yeah? That's all there is to it. So the coordinates then will be of a prime, b prime, c prime, will be c is at 1, 6, c prime 1, 6, b prime is at 3, 1, and a prime is at 6, 5. And that's all we got.